In the waning moments of this game, Dallas 17, Arizona 14. In sports, there are those singular moments that capture the heart of the nation. Tidwell, in motion, play fake. And sometimes in those moments, a star is born. Lost one to the end zone. Touchdown, Cardinal. These stars shed a new light on the game. They burn bright and fast. Well, he held on to the football. He's still down on the ground. He's he not hurt. getting up. They reshape history. Cardinal trainer comes racing out onto the field as Tidwell makes his ninth catch and gives Arizona the lead. And then, in an instant, they're gone. When he fell, we were scared that he wouldn't get up. And he didn't get up for a few minutes. That was one of the scariest moments, I think, for everybody, not just football fans, but for our family. You know, as, as a ball player, of course, when, he, when he's down, not moving, I'm always concerned. But I watch it, and I watch it, and I kept remembering all the things that he would say, what he would do for that reception, what he would put on the line. And all of a sudden, he looked around, his eyes opened, and we all exhaled a little bit. We didn't think he was going to get up and dance. And he's up on his feet, the crowd loves it. You know, it's not just the dance, but it's also the moment. What moment? And that moment when he caught the game winner and then does that celebration, the way he did it. A lot of people don't know this, but a lot of his stuff he stole from me. That dance in particular, that was my little dance, you know. I personally think that that moment solidified it in the minds of the Cardinals that they wanted to sign him to a multi-year deal. Rod, we, <laughs> we're happy for you, buddy. If I had to go back in time to try to get Rod Tidwell as a client, I probably would have done one thing differently. I wouldn't. I never really cared for Rod Tidwell. I never, I never really cared for any of my clients. But Tidwell in particular, I did not care for. He was a flash in the pan. He should be with Jerry Maguire. I'm very glad he signed with Jerry Maguire. I don't do flash in the pan. You know what I put in a pan? Bacon. Jerry Maguire was a very established agent in his era. If you remember, he lost almost every one of his clients. Jerry did. Rod felt, I can do one of two things. I could leave too and be one of the many, or I can stick around and be loyal to Jerry because Jerry will be loyal to me. You know, Rod just needed somebody to believe in him, somebody to, to trust in his abilities. But first, show me the money. Your father leaves home on Christmas Eve, leaves your family all alone. I mean, there's been a horrific list of things that have happened to you in your life. I'm not going to cry, Roy. <laughs> when I got the contract, I looked at it, I did a top of it. Should I, shouldn't I tell him on the air? This has just been handed to me. It's a contract guaranteed. Arizona Cardinals, four years, $11.2 million. He was completely shocked. His wife, Marcy, was there. Jerry Maguire was there. <laughs> Jerry Maguire made it happen for him. And luckily, that contract came through. And it all happened so quickly. Uncle Rod taught me everything in my life. Uh, he taught me to be all I can be and to embody the four pillars of Quan. You got to earn the Quan. Means love, respect, community, the money, everything. Quan. I would split Rod's career into two sections. BC, before catch, and AC, after catch. Now, before catch, he was, a, he was a great player. You know, don't get me wrong. But that catch wasn't the highlight of his career. That was the start of a new career. That was the start of a legend.
What started out as a publicity-grabbing novelty has evolved into a sports story for the ages. Throws long. Got, him. got wide open. Touchdown. Every time I watch it, I'm like, oh, my gosh, we got 85 this week. You know, you know he's going to talk. You know he want the ball. 85, who can cover him? He says nobody. Rod Tidwell was the Cardinals during that four-year period. Not one, not two, not three, but four straight 200 reception seasons. You got to put him in conversation as one of the most talented guys, you know, at the receiver position. Plummer throws. Tidwell has a step. Touchdown, Tidwell. Well, there's always been that long-standing question with the Hall of Fame. Is a short period of time good enough? I mean, four years, 9,000 yards. I mean, he did it better than anybody has ever done it before. I think he belongs in the Hall of Fame. He is one of those once-in-a-lifetime experiences. We out here to get the job done, you know what I'm saying? I'm taking this. At the end of all of the conversation. We gonna come, we gonna do what we got to do. You know what I'm saying? You still end up asking yourself, how can this be possible? We gonna do what we got to do. There are things I will not do. Try to be a movie star. Try to be a singer. No, no, no. I mean, Rod was the guy. I mean, not just on the field. Obviously, he was incredible, but he was everywhere off the field. I remember Tidwell. He was a 90s icon, like myself. He was the man. You know, everybody wanted to hang out with Rod Tidwell, you know? Actresses and, 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 and supermodels. Ladies, all. I mean, you know, and he would just say no. You know, Rod was always faithful to his black queen, so, you know, all the white girls he couldn't get, I was there for the pickup. All he really cared about was getting to that end zone and show me the money. <laughs> He set that. He yeah. set that tone. Yeah. Now all the NFL players they, are doing they it. They keep trying to up him. If I was the big Aristotle, I'm going to have to call him Little Socrates. Rod is the man. He is the man. He is He's the a man. what a man. What a I man. I almost had a, man. an affair with him, actually, oh, at one did? point. I didn't tell you about no. that. Oh, damn. Well. Damn. So I remember the day I went in to sign my contract with the Cardinals. And one of the executives came up to me kind of laughing and said, you're not going to pull a Tidwell on us, are you? At that time, I really didn't know the rest of the story. After Rod did his last four years, I mean, it was clear this man was about to get cha-ching. Production means dollars, you know, and he produced big, so he had to get big dollars. And I mean, everybody knew that. They told me that Rod Tidwell had a six-year, $100 million contract on the table. To this day, I still think that's what is the biggest biggest money any NFL player's ever been paid to that point. Show me the money, right? There, there's the money. And that's how every now and then my brother would throw you off, because just when you thought you knew Rod, you know, he, you think he's going left, he go right. So, you know, he just, he had a moment, I guess it was an epiphany, when he realized he couldn't soar no high. He couldn't make a greater catch. The owner of the Cardinals walks into his office, and there's Rod Tidwell sitting in his chair, stood up, came over to Michael, shook his hand, and said, I just want to thank you for everything. It's not about the organization. It's not about the team. I'm walking away because it's all about the Quan. That Quan. He's always been about that Quan. And if the Quan ain't there, the cash means nothing. I would have played till I was 90 years old for that kind of money. That wasn't the top of Rod Tedwell's game. That's why him leaving, everybody cares about. Because he left so much on the table. You know what we call those people? Losers. Losers. Sore winner. F Rod Tedwell. Seriously. No, I, I don't think there was anything left for Rod Tedwell to accomplish. I think it would have been unfair if he stayed in the league. It looked like he was playing with middle school children. After watching Rod for so many years, I thought he was all about the money, that uh, that's what really drove him. But then after watching him walk away from that $100 million contract, I think I was all wrong. Rod Tidwell, we miss that guy. We miss that guy big time. Rod Tidwell, we miss you, baby! He said this to me. He said, success and happiness are two different things. He said, I'm successful, but I'm successful because I got what I wanted, right? But then he says, but I'm happy because I wanted what I have. Rod Tidwell burned bright, and he burned fast. But for every sunrise, there is a sunset. Although Rod Tidwell came into the league without notice, 
his departure will never be forgotten.